Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and share, share, share. Yeah, how's everybody today? Um, I'm about to head out, go to a couple of stores, run a couple of errands just to get out the house. I told y'all my hair would be up in a bun uh, the majority of the time. It's not going to be down. But anyway, um, how was everybody weekend? I hope awesome. Hope everybody's doing well, taking care of themselves. As far as me, I've been in the house and pretty much doing nothing. Well, take it back. I've been cleaning, organizing, not really organizing, just getting rid of stuff. And I still got a, cop, a couple of more um, closets and um, cabinets and stuff to go. Um, I just did my hall closet, as you guys can see from the previous video. Straighten that out, cleaned out my coat closet. Um, I'm getting rid of a lot of stuff y'all old home decor stuff all kind of stuff I need to go and get some boxes while I'm out so I can um, put the stuff that I'm gonna give away in a box and toss it off or pass it on to the next individual who may need it um, some people say I should be doing a yard sale but I'm not gonna do that don't feel like it don't got time and it's still cold outside so that's what I've been doing since I've been in the house it's basically um, getting rid of a lot of stuff that I don't, I haven't used, don't want, and just been holding on uh, for no reason. So anyway, I got to go out, do a couple of errands. I'm going to try to remember to bring you guys in on the way, and I'll see y'all back in a second. Okay guys, this is what I came to look for, but they only have it in gold and they don't have it in silver and I needed it in silver. Then they have these other ones over here that I don't like. <sighs> Alright, so I guess I'm going to be on to the next, next door. y'all welcome back to my channel make sure you like comment subscribe hit that notification bell and share 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 my name is Tasha and today 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 we're about to make some smothered potatoes so um, it's actually in the morning uh, it's around 10 35 10 30 um, somewhere off in there and I decided to get up and make my son something to eat so I said I would make some smothered potatoes since I haven't made some in a while 
anyway so all you need with this for the smother potato is some potatoes cut up it doesn't matter how you cut them up and some onions cut up it doesn't matter how you cut them up um sometimes i add bell pepper unfortunately i forgot to get some bell pepper the other day when i was at the store so i'm just going to only use onion today but it's to your preference on what you would like to use in it either way it would be um delicious and you need also some oil, olive oil or canola oil or vegetable oil, um, some kind of oil to put in the uh, skillet to start off uh, frying the potatoes. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started um, and I'll be back in a second. Okay guys, as you can see, I um, put about a little less than half, maybe one fourth cup of oil in there. Um, I added my onions, my chopped onions, and my cut up potatoes. And all you want to do now is just make sure the potatoes get coated with the olive oil. And they kind of like saute um, for a minute, turn the fire down. this cook for a minute before we go to the next step all right I'll come back when it's time to go to the next step oh yeah and I also added my seasoning so I added my um, Laurie's seasoned salt slap your mama uh, my onion and garlic seasoning that I get from uh, Burlington or Marshall's and then my um, black pepper Okay guys, I'm back. Uh, trying to see, can you? There we go. Don't mind my stove, guys. It's old. Anyway, so as you can see, um, I let the potatoes kind of brown a little bit and cook a little bit in the olive oil. So now what I'm going to do is uh, let my onions, they done got translucent and cooked a little bit. 
So now what I'm going to do is, um, and it's cooked for about 10 minutes. So see they're all coated. So now what I'm going to do is add my water. So you just want to add a little water at a time. So I, you guys, I don't use no measuring technique. I just pour it in there. So maybe like a half a cup of water. This is what's going to uh, smother the potatoes. Yep. I just put that up in there. It was delicious. Anyway. As you can see how much water I put in there. Not much. I start off at a little at a time. God damn it. I'm just dropping shit. Excuse me, y'all. Okay, so I'm gonna add just a little bit more water. And then I'm gonna turn my fire down and then I'm gonna put my lid on and let the potatoes uh smother. That's why they're called smothered potatoes, y'all. So I'm gonna let them smother for a minute. And then I'll come back and turn them over and check them and see if I need any water, any more water. But you basically want to keep doing this until the potatoes get um, soft, cooked, and um, with a little, little crunch. Not much, just a little bit, but they pretty much want to be soft. So I'll come back when it's time for me to check them and bring you guys back and see how they look. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm trying to make sure you guys can see this. Okay, I'm back. So let's check our potatoes. Oh, now see how the water evaporated into the potatoes? And you can tell they're starting to cook. So now, this is why I say to add a little water at a time. Because you don't want to boil your potatoes. You just want to smother your potatoes. Until they get to that right consistency. So now I need to add a little bit more water. That's about it. For now. And then we're going to smother them some more. And I added a little parsley, guys. Uh, for, um, to give it some color. Alright. I just like my food to look a little presentable all right be back in a second okay guys I'm back so as you can see my potatoes have soaked up all the water they are smothered and you can see as I put my my spoon in the potatoes they're soft just like I want them I don't need to add any more water y'all this is what you call smothered potatoes, okay? You don't need any more water. The water has evaporated and has smothered into the potatoes. And this is how you cook smothered potatoes, y'all. Um, once you can put that fork or spoon through those potatoes easily, they're ready, okay? So if remember, if you put too much water you would have soupy potatoes. You don't want soupy potatoes. You just want a little smother potato. Okay? You're not boiling any potatoes, y'all. You're not boiling them. You're just smothering them. So you start off with a little oil to coat the potatoes, fry them a little bit um, to loosen them up. So when you add the water, they tend to evaporate the water, cook a little bit faster because you have sauteed them and uh, fry them a little bit in the beginning. Anyway, this is what you call smothered potatoes. They have onion in it. Like I said, you can add bell pepper. I'm going to turn this off because they are ready. You can add bell pepper. You can add green onions. You can add whatever other vegetables you like would like to. Like I said, sometimes I do put bell pepper. Sometimes I do add green onion. It all depends on how I'm feeling today. So I didn't have either one today. Uh, I mean, it all depends when I cook them. But I didn't have either one. So, I, I don't know. I just thought I had some when I went to the store yesterday. But I guess I didn't when I decided to make this. So, I just added some parsley just for a little coloring. Um, and seasoning and stuff. So, anyway. Here's your smothered potatoes, y'all. And now I'm going to uh, fry him some chicken. 
and we'll be back for that. Okay guys, I'm back. Alexa, pause. I'm hoping they'll turn out just as good as what I'm using. 